I can't believe how long it took to get the bus all ready to go. We got the bus last Sunday. Today's Tuesday. I thought we would take five or six days to put the new water tank on, do a few things. We leave Friday or Saturday on the weekend, like four days ago, three days ago. I was mistaken, but that's okay. I didn't realize that moving into a bus was essentially like moving part of, well, it's like moving houses. We had cleaned out the pantry, the fridge, clothes for five, all that good stuff. Fishing rod, canoes, bikes, all the gear we want. And uh, finally, we're finally here. I wasn't, wasn't really in the mood to record and vlog. They're, uh, they're waiting. The kids have been patient. We thought we were gonna leave today in the morning around 11. That's yeah, three o'clock. Got off to a good early start. Are you ready to go on a bus trip? Hey? Should we go on a bus trip? High five? Yeah. What a wonderful So we, we're all packed up, ready to go. We got six weeks left of summer. We don't know how long we're gonna hit the road. We don't know exactly where we're going. Looking forward to it. We know that in most summers we try to take a bunch of time off to enjoy them with the kids and make up for it with more work in the fall and spring. And summertime, the, the living is just easy. And so it was important for me to be able to buy this bus for the family and not just use it three weekends of the year, or five weekends of the year, or one week here. I, I want to live in the camper for an extended period of time. This is our first real test run going for more than just a weekend or more than a few days. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? One, two, three, four. Why is there no dandelions here? Are you walking in the grass? Yeah, yo. Come walk on the trail. Is the sun. Yeah? You guys you guys excited for the bus adventure? Yeah. Yeah, what are we gonna do? Is the sun gonna shine? Does it open? Gale bones are the earth in this thing with the mountain. Gale bones are the earth and they sing. Did you just go down that hill? Camping with three kids, six and under, is pretty. can be pretty exhausting. It's not exhausting all the time, but there's still food to cook, dishes to clean, wood to chop, camp to set up. And this one gets into all sorts of things. So it's not this, like, you know, perfect lifestyle. I feel like spending six weeks camping on the bus is going to be a lot of work. I guess now that Adia knows how to pick huckleberries, she might pick any berry she sees on any trail and try to eat it. So we're going to have to watch her more closely when it comes to foraging. That beeper means berry time! Why would you look outside? 
Radio C.